Hello guys, uh, welcome again to the channel. Today I want to um, talk about this man, Paul Rusesa Bagina, which is a um, Rwandan hero for from the um, Rwandan genocide event that took place in 1994. If you don't know about him, you can watch a film that is called Hotel Rwanda where they kind of uh, depict the summary of the story and for those of you who are not uh, familiar with this uh, you can read some information about him um, so what he did was uh, to help um, here is the summary of what he, he did he was the manager of a five-star hotel where 1,268 people sheltered from the 1994 genocide in Rwanda. And um, so his story was portrayed in this movie that is called Hotel Rwanda. And now he just recently was arrested, or maybe he was arrested a long time ago, um, but he was sentenced on charges of uh, terrorism by the by the government of Rwanda and of course he is not shy on his opinion so he has been very uh, you know outspoken and he's not in the best uh, side of um, power so the the current uh, president of Rwanda just uh, sentenced him to to 25 years in prison on charges of terrorism, which is of course um, probably a fake accusation, just uh, some political thing to do. So what is the story about Rwanda? Because it's relevant to all these things. So the story about Rwanda is uh, that in 1994 there were some peacekeeping forces um, that were part of the United Nations and uh, they decided the Security Council of the United Nations decided anonymously to cut back the peacekeeping forces in Rwanda even though there were some indications that this could lead to more violence and what happened was exactly that so what I want you to remember and pay attention here is that it was unanimous vote so who are the countries in the Security Council you know many powerful countries in in the world which is the permanent Security Council but it's not just the permanent security council but those countries that are in rotation in this uh, thing and um, this was instigated by mainly United States Belgium and all others voted to withdraw these uh, peacekeeping forces so what happened in this uh, um, Rwandan genocide, if you don't know, during the course of 100 days, if you can imagine that, 100 days, in 1994, the Hutu government of Rwanda and the, his allies were exterminating people, you know, the Tutsi minority and some people that were also maybe Tutsi supporters in their own opinion and they killed famously using machetes and firearms and different kind of improvised weapons so who killed this Tutsi minority? militiamen, soldiers and ordinary citizens if you can believe that you know if you had a neighbor they were just killing the neighbor absolutely horrible and this was instigated by the government of Rwanda at the moment so they murdered 800,000 Tutsi people 
and it's just horrible what happened there. So it is. Uh, there is this his uh, stupid remark that is. Uh, it was the fastest, most efficient killing spree of the twentieth century. So why is this relevant? Not only because this man is not um, enjoying the benefit of uh, his uh, good deeds, but he's uh, being punished, you know. And uh, what is important now for us to remember is all these uh, superpowers, they don't care about people, they don't care about human rights, uh, they don't care about uh, avoiding genocide, they don't care about um, saving lives, they just care about their own thing, you know, they care about their own power, their own interests, and as countries they are not interested in saving lives anywhere. Some countries they just care about selling weapons, uh, making a profit out of it, they don't care about the suffering of the people. And is everyone in the Security Council and all the countries that voted in favor? They did this, you know, they did this. Uh, they allow it to happen and now we have uh, situations similar to this in other countries in the world where, uh, you know, people are getting killed and there is no accountability for all these superpowers and they just allow it to happen so there was no profit to be made from putting people to avoid a genocide in Rwanda so that's why they didn't do it as simple as that that's yes uh, the situation that is reality in the world where we live and um, just uh, is uh, disgusting disgusting how how people can do this and a lot of people uh, blame the United States uh, because they were instigating this uh, kind of uh, decision to retreat from Rwanda but the United States is just another country in the Security Council you know everyone else voted in favor it doesn't matter if the United States say ah let's let's get out of here everyone else agreed so they are accomplices to this and that's just the way the, the situation in our world is. Uh, citizens need to understand that they are nothing to their governments. They, they don't care about them with very, very few exceptions, which are I, I, I won't even go into detail to mention. So that's it, guys. This man here, you know, receiving a medal from George Bush is probably the most stupid thing that could ever happen. When Bush was interviewed about the Rwandan genocide, he says that uh, it was not in the interest of the United States and even if they knew that a genocide was going to happen, he was not going to send troops. So now he's giving a medal to the guy who actually did something, you know, he risked his life to say thousands and uh, yes, uh, very stupid that he's giving a medal to this guy when he did nothing. He was not in power at the moment, but he said that if he was there, he wouldn't have done anything. Clinton, the President Clinton was at that time, and um, he expressed some regret, some uh, remorse about what happened. But I mean, come on, this happened over 100 days. It was not like, oh, the first day they killed 800,000. No, it was eight. A lot, 800,000 people that were killed and they had time to go and do something about it but they chose to do nothing and now this man is paying a heavy price for being outspoken and for talking about the politics of his countries and yes, uh, yes, horrible this uh, whole situation so that that's all I wanted to say now guys um, if uh, you have any comments or questions or you just uh, want to connect to the channel please like share and subscribe and i hope to see you again in, in the next video thank you for watching